Hey guys, Tech Manager with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone screen if it has a green, blue, white, black, or any sort of line that's impacting your display. Now, this is going to be a, a video to fix the software issue related that may be causing the display to have this issue. Now, the other reason why you may be seeing this issue is that if your screen or the LCD was damaged, uh, you can't really fix it without replacing it, but we'll show you these steps that you can identify if it's a hardware related issue or software related issue. So let's dive into it. So as I mentioned here, the fix here, it's gonna be a hit or miss depending on the device that you have. If it's a software related issue, this video will fix it for you. Now, if it's a hardware related issue, you're gonna have to kind of go ahead take it to the Apple store or authorized retailer to have that uh, replaced for you. Or if you're comfortable with opening up the phone, you can, because not most people are comfortable with opening up the phone. We're not going to do that here, but we're going to show you a couple things you can do. Maybe it's a software issue and you're lucky and you can fix that issue. So as you can see here, there's all sorts of issues happening on the iPhone display here, and you may run across this. So the first thing is if you drop the phone or if it got wet somehow, most likely you damage a screen. In that case, you probably have to replace the display itself so that's no brainer it's just the software won't, isn't going to fix it but there's some times we see that it's actually a software related issue so let's start with the first thing you want to do the first thing you want to do on your iphone is do a force restart so we want to basically reload the phone the code it has and make sure there's no bugs or any issue impacting your phone to do that on iphone 8 and above you're going to press and release the volume up there button volume down button and then hold this big side button on the right hand side now as you can see siri activated that means we didn't do quick enough so you want to make sure you do the volume up volume down and then hold that side button again and as you can see we're going to keep on holding it we're not going to power to slide it up we're going to keep on holding that big side button right here and we're going to wait till we see the apple logo and that is going to be doing a force restart which again reboots the phone, reloads the code itself, and fixes any software glitches a phone may be experiencing. One of the very first things to do whenever you have any sort of iPhone issues. And the one thing we showed you is that if you're not quick enough pressing the volume up and then volume down really quick, and you hold that button, it's going to activate Siri. That's why we're going to show you that you have to be very quick when you press and release the volume up volume down and then this big side button so that's the first thing to do next thing you want to do is go over to display here into the settings and then we're going to look for display and brightness so there, for display and brightness and in this display and brightness what you'll do is go ahead and turn off true tone and take a look at to see what happens and then you're going to increase the brightness all the way up and then all the way down just do that a couple of times up down just to see what's happening with the display here and see take a note if the the brightness removes your line that you have for the blue white or uh, uh, just a simple vertical line now go ahead and turn it back on now if it's gone uh, that's good if it's not that might be next thing we might want to do which is going to be going to address one of the bigger issues when it comes to software updates is doing a software update so you, this time in the setting your general and the software update. And you wanna make sure your phone is up to date with the latest version. So if you see a version out there, go ahead and download and install it. Maybe it's a previous update messed up your phone and another update uh, will fix it for you. So that's another thing you wanna do. Now, if you have done and you updated your phone to the latest software version, the next thing you can do is doing a reset of just all settings. So if you go into settings and then general, and this time we're going to do transfer or reset iPhone. So we're going to click on that. Remember, this is on iOS 16, so it's going to be slightly different for the reset if you're running on older version. But then you're going to want to do is first option here where it says reset, and then you're going to do reset all settings. But before you do that, quick caution is that it's going to reset all settings, like custom settings that you have, like wallpaper or possibly like if you have VPN settings or any uh, profiles. Wi-Fi settings, all of that, you will be erased here when you do reset all settings. So, but it will not delete your photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. It's just going to reset the settings themselves, which will sometimes help again, depending on your case. But you want to go ahead and click on that, and it will take about a minute or two, and it will do that reset for you. So, those are going to be the things that you want to do when it comes to the phone and you want to fix the phone if it's software related issue those are the top three solutions 
which will fix it if it's software issue. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and touch and screw, touch the screen and kind of feel for it. See if you have a line here, I would go ahead and touch it and to see if the line goes away. If the line goes away, that means it's most likely a connection underneath the display that's bad, which again will require you to open up the phone and inspect the connection themselves. Depending on the model of your phone, if you don't know what you're doing, it's best probably take it to Apple or authorized retailer to take a look at the display here because again, this is almost a 50-50 chance that it's a software or a hardware related issue. So I want to let you guys know that hardware related issue, it's just going to be requiring either reconnecting the connection or replacing the entire screen. So hopefully one of this tip help you guys. If you guys found a better way to fix the issue, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.